and Kiki's already ruining my day. Okay, so she's not here. Not in this room. I know Kiki's somewhere in the dark. Alright, let's stay away from those. Let's focus on other rooms, and then we'll leave the big rooms last. Be nice if... Where's the map at? I don't... Where, where is... Oh, here's a map. Okay. So where am I? I'm there. Okay. We're just going to check everything while trying not to get brutally mugged. Okay. So there's that chance that she could be in any rooms, but I'm more so focused on the big ones just because again, I feel like harder to see her. Okay, Greta, you are not going the way I need you to go. I need you to go, yeah, go that way. Maybe just be quiet. I, I feel like they can hear my movements. Because I've been pretty quiet. They haven't really bothered me yet. But I know for Chester all bets are off because I have to run for my life. Yeah, okay. I knew Chester was right there. Good thing he didn't come in there during. That would have sucked. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm... F <gasps> oh, my God. That was a gift from the gods. Where's the box? Okay. We're gonna wrap around. We're gonna wrap back around to construction... No. And we went the wrong way. We gotta go the other side. <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah, you were right there. Alright, I just have to get him off me before I get to Greta's level. Where are you at? Okay, you're over there. You stay. I'm gonna go back to level four. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap. Uh, yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so I somehow now have to go back over there through level 3 to get to the south side of level 3 to the construction oh my god you s this is the worst this is the worst fine right there oh my go away You are single-handedly ruining this run for me. Okay, thank you. If there was gonna be a one, this is gonna be it. I don't even remember. Did we check warehouse? Oh. Oh my. This is a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. Oh my god! 
Uh, I couldn't even find it. There's a time limit? You are joking me. Uh, just kill me. I <laughs> what? We're gonna go back to my strat of level four to level three. And just pray for good RNG here. Again, this is weird. This is not it's a it's a lot, but at the same time, it's not really a lot. It's manageable if I just don't play like an idiot. So I I think we've got this. Turns out I'm really only getting attacked in the respect in the areas where you know each person is. Okay, so she's So now I'm going to move to I think this is the way. Yeah, sorry. This is to level 4. But you're good there. I'm going to just stare you down. Oh my god, she's actually walking. I didn't even know she had that animation. Okay. Alright, so now let's unfortunately... Let's unfortunately hit the warehouse. Okay, you're there. That's fine. Come on, I need you to go. I need you to go. Come on. All right, we're in level two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. No, we gotta go. Wait, how am I in level three from this side? That doesn't make any sense. All right, you go that way. Okay, I'm back in level two. Okay, yeah, all right, here's the warehouse. Alright, we just need to find her one more time. I need to get out of here. Alright, just one more time. I think we're in an okay area too. Oh, oh! Wait, so what do I do now? I, th I thought that was it. What do I do? I heard her. I heard Greta, so they're still active. I'm just gonna quietly go to the break room. What is that? Sorry about the fire. Oh, shit. Oh, the fire extinguishers are gone. I don't... I don't need to find those, do I? Oh, God. How do I get out of here? Alright, I already went through the... Alright, I already went through the break room. Alright, yeah, there's fire blocking that. I think I just need to head for the exit. So I feel like finding fire extinguishers would just be too, too tedious. But if the exit's not open, then... I guess I'll be sad about something else. But I'm gonna just head for the exit. It seems... Pretty calm, actually. Alright, I hear fire. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. 
Oh god, is the fire closing in? Oh my god, it's closing in. How the hell? How the hell do we get out of here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes! Dolls came to life and attacked. The central evidence office at the edge of town burned down this morning. A sandwich delivery guy reported the incident to the police. He claims that during his delivery, he was locked in the office by several dolls. He survived the night by playing games with the dolls and a young zombie-looking girl. He was also attacked by a mannequin and a jack-in-the-box toy that had a doll living inside it. He said the dolls set fire to the building and he saw the girl running away with them. He also claims the doll possibly killed or took the security guard. The police and fire department are investigating the situation. The delivery guy is under psychiatric evaluation and is a suspect to arson and involvement in the missing night guard. According to the sandwich guy, he didn't set the fire or do anything to the security guard. This is the second story reporting dolls coming to life in a little over a month. Check back with us for a secret at 11 p.m. It's almost almost over. Continue for more. <laughs> now they think he's crazy, too. I told them I wasn't crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm going to go back to that house. I'm going to figure this out for myself. Wait, so is there going to be a third one? Oh, my God. Well, that's it, everybody. I didn't actually think I would beat it, and it took me five years to beat this game because I don't know why the first one really just... It really bothered me as far as when I first started getting into horror games, how scared it was, or how scary it was to me at the time. And dolls and mannequins have never really been my strong suit, so I just didn't go back to this game because I was genuinely just scared. I've never really been scared of any horror games, but this one, I don't know why it did as much as it did. But I'm, <laughs> we finally beat it. I don't know. This game's been out for, like I said, almost five years, and I, I haven't heard any talks of a third one. I hope there is, especially the way he ended it by saying he wants to go back to the house. So one can only hope. I, I do genuinely love this franchise, and I hope there is a third one. But I'm so excited I finally beat the second one. Thank you guys for sticking with me throughout this whole series. Um, I believe the next series is going to be Escape the Iuwaki. I don't know yet. But I'm going to look through some games, see what's out, see what's new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys. Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Gamma Fury here. And today, before I show this clip or this footage, I just want to say how freaking accomplished and happy I am that I finally beat this game. Um, before I show you the footage, like I said, I have a little backstory for you guys and a couple thanks for, like, making this possible. Because, honestly, this was not possible without a couple people. Um, so it was New Year's Eve, which was, let's see, two days ago, yeah, two days ago, and, uh, a bunch of my friends came over, and it was originally just, like, to hang out and everything, and, uh, I had this game for a while, I had it before, I had it the day of Christmas, and so I wanted to show my friend, and so I showed my friend, because he said he heard about it, and he wanted to try it out, so he tried it, and we had a lot of fun, and I had about seven people over, and it started with just me and him playing, it was my friend Jake, or it was, uh, me and my friend Riley, actually, and uh, so me and Riley kept playing it, and then a couple of my a couple more people joined or started like coming in my room and watching. And then a couple more people started, and then it turned into like this whole thing of like every time you die, you pass the control over to just you know see how far we got. It wasn't like meant to like actually be beaten. It was just meant to have fun to show them like how scary it is and whatnot. And um, it turns out like this game actually like started getting fun. Like we started like playing a little bit more. We started having a lot of fun. And the next thing you know, like we we took a break because it was twelve. It was uh, midnight. So yeah, happy New Year's, everybody. And then we just kept playing, and I should you not, we we didn't sleep. We played until we beat it, and unfortunately we never beat it, but I actually beat it today. But like I said, I have to thank my friends to help me get as far because I, I only played this last night because I was just so interested in watching. I was like, how are they how are they doing this? But little did I thought, I did not think I was even going to beat this. I, I Like I said, we, did, we pulled an all-nighter. We played the entire night. We played for like nine hours straight trying to beat this. So it was definitely tough, and this was the hardest part, and that's why I feel like a lot of it. I was thinking if those guys can't beat the last night, how could I do it? And I've just been playing and playing and playing and trying to get good at it. And I got on today and I did it first try. So I don't, I don't know. But yeah, guys, I did it. Sorry I didn't get the rest of the footage like leading up to it. It was just like I wasn't playing. So it was like, you know, they didn't really want to be recorded or anything. So it was like whatever. But hey, here's the final footage, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, you did not just un- You- Oh, wait, does anyone have a